Welcome back to the vlogs of INTD Disasters in Film. Today's discussion will be focused on the quarantine due to the coronavirus pandemic. In the beginning of March 2020, I was able to celebrate my 21st birthday, but then a week later, there were safety precautions placed around California from city to city due to people contracting coronavirus, aka COVID-19. So before the stay-at-home orders were placed and safety precautions were made, I would see a lot of posts and images on social media, as well as memes, about this virus. And initially, I didn't think much of it until I saw more coverage on the news about this particular virus and realized it was pretty deadly since there was no cure, no vaccine to really take it away or demobilize it. So in March, this was the month that classes were placed online and conducted on Zoom, which is an app that allows people to FaceTime, basically. Uh, all classes were done online after spring vacation, and I found this to be very shocking since I realized I would not be able to see my friends, society, sisters, or professors on a daily basis. And I became mixed with emotions of a lot of confusion, sadness, concern, and also nervousness. The news coverage was all focused on one thing and one thing only, which was the coronavirus. During this time, I realized how deadly the virus was. The greatest challenge of sheltering in place would probably be, as I've mentioned before, the arguments that occur within the household over mediocre things such as borrowing chargers, rubber bands, shampoo or conditioner, clothes, or eating somebody else's food without asking. My greatest concern would be someone that I know in my family or friends that contract the virus and dying from it since there's no cure or treatment for it. The most comforting portion of the quarantine was honestly being able to stay quarantined with my immediate family. For my immediate family, it consists of me, my mom, and my two younger sisters. We all took safety precautions such as wearing face masks, gloves, carrying hand sanitizer with us constantly, whether it be in our pockets, purse, or in the car. My shelter-in-place experience has been very eventful. Currently, I am sheltering slash quarantining with my immediate family members, which includes my mom, my two younger sisters, and me. Hi, I'm Pablo. My name's Tyrone. I'm Uniqua. I'm Tasha. My name is Austin, and we're your Backyard Friends of Backyard. Despite all this, the best moments of happiness would also be with my family, whether it be doing dance parties or baking together, cooking together, or just watching movies on Netflix or Disney Plus and just having a good time spending quality time with each other, and also playing board games and card games. The whole experience was very different than what I had anticipated. In late May 2020, there were multiple protests to spread awareness on police brutality and racism. The movement was called Black Lives Matter. The whole country and cities worldwide took part in protests to spread awareness on injustices by the police. The death of George Floyd sparked the debate and awareness on police brutality after a white male police officer suffocated a harmless innocent black man named George Floyd after Floyd repeatedly cried out, I can't breathe, but the officer kept kneeling down upon George Floyd's throat until he was unresponsive. One big takeaway from all this is the memory of always seeing face masks everywhere on people and people wearing gloves, and just the the big impact that the virus had on the whole world. Not just one country, but the entire global population of multiple people, various countries, everywhere. I will also remember my sister's drive-by graduation and the virtual graduation commencement of my friends at Whittier College, including some of my society sisters of the Palmer Society. Although I won't be able to see some of my friends that were graduating 
this year. Hopefully, I will be able to continue to see my friends in the upcoming semester. I hope this is some wishful thinking, but I'm thankful for all the experiences that I have experienced during this pandemic, whether it be both positive or negative. I definitely will never take anything for granted because it could change in the blink of an eye. And yeah, I will always be grateful for every single thing that I have in my life, whether it be my health, because health is really huge. Um, Definitely my family, my friends, they're such a big support system. And honestly, I think I would probably go nuts without them. So yeah, that's a big takeaway and something that I will always remember from this pandemic.